everybody, welcome back to the channel. I am the Bald Ginger, and we are jumping back into some road to the show here today. Final series of the regular season here, and it's a three-game set with the San Diego Padres. We are 90 and 69. Let's see if we can make that a 92 and 70 to end our season. Uh, of course, if we take the sweep, I'm okay with that, too. Hey, we got the City Connect jerseys on today. Top of the first, no score. Xander Bogarts leading things off for the Padres. He's got a 1-1 count and a 289 batting average this season. So let's see what uh, Dane Dunning has got to serve up for him here. The 1-1 pitch. It's a ground ball right to me. We'll throw to first. Easy play. One away here in the top of the first. Quick and painless first out there. Bottom half of the inning. It's a 1-0 ball game. Arizona in the lead. Two outs. Runner on third. I got a 299 batting average hitting out of the number five spot in the order. Joe Musgrove is the man on the mound for the Padres. He hits 95 with that four-seamer. Has a cutter at 92 and a circle change at 90. First pitch from him. Ripped to the third baseman. That's not going to get the job done. Throw across the diamond is out number three. And after one inning, we are leading the Padres in this one by a score of one to nothing. We come back, top of the second, one nothing ball game. One out, nobody on for Luis Camposano. He's hitting 268 on the season, and he was an all-star here. So let's see what he's going to do with the 0-1 pitch from Dane Dunning. Ground ball down the third baseline. We'll pick it up, throw across. Going to have to hurry a little bit, but we get him by a step. And that is out number two here in the top of the second. We come back, bottom of the fourth, 2 nothing ball game. Arizona in the lead. Nobody out, nobody on. I'm standing in 0 for 1 on the day. 298 the batting average currently. Let's see what I can do against Joe Musgrove this time around. Good rip into left field. That's going to be a base hit. A perfect, perfect shot. And all we can pull is a single off of that one, but it's a base hit nonetheless. So we will take that. It was 112 off the bat. That's some killer exit velocity. We come back bottom of the sixth. It's a 5-2 ball game. Padres opened up a can there. And we are now trailing by three. Two outs, nobody on, and I'm standing in one for two on the day. And I get a dynamic challenge with the bases empty. We'll try to hit that double or better off of Joe Musgrove this time around. First pitch of at-bat number three. Below the knees with a four-seamer. One and oh the count. Come on, big guy. One good pitch. That's all I need. That's not it. Slider inside makes for a 2-0 and o count. If he's going to walk me, I will take it, I suppose. The 2-0 pitch. On the outside corner with the four-seamer. We got a piece of that one and fouled it away to make the count 2-1. and one. Fourth pitch of the at-bat on its way now. And it's outside with a curveball. 3-1 and one the count. Christian Walker standing in the on-deck circle for the Diamondbacks here. And the 3-1 pitch from Musgrove. Little dribbler down the first baseline. We'll hold up at first. Not going to get that double there. We might have been able to pull it off. Oh, with a throw like that, we would have. So we fail on the dynamic challenge, but we do get a base hit. So we'll take the single. We come back top of the seventh. It's a 6-2 to two ball game now. Padres in the lead by four. 2-2 two, two count for Riley Green, who's two for three on the day with a home run and four RBIs today. Holy mackerel. Runner on first and one away for him. 2-2 two, two pitch on the way from Diamondbacks reliever Alex Cobb. A little dribbler to me. We're going to throw to second. Try for that double play. Five, four, and three. We make it happen going around the horn to retire the side and head to the seventh inning stretch here in Arizona. Don't forget your Cracker Jack boys and girls. We come back top of the eighth, still a 6-2 ball game. Runner on first, nobody out, and Jake Cronenworth at the plate for the Padres. He's 0 for 2 on the day with a walk on his line score. His batting average currently sitting at 269. Let's see what he can do with the 0-1 pitch from right-handed reliever Alex Cobb. Could really use a double play ball here. Oh, this is going to be it. Little chopper to me. Throw to second, relay to first. In time, another 5-4-3 double play as we go around the horn to empty the bases and put two outs on the board. We come back bottom of the ninth. 7-2 the score. San Diego in the lead. Nobody out, nobody on, and I'm standing in two for three on the day. Steven Wilson is now on the bump for the Padres out of the bullpen. He does have a 97-mile-an-hour four-seamer. 
91 on the cutter. First pitch from him, outside with a sweeping curve at 82 miles an hour. 1-0 the count after not offering at that pitch. Second pitch from Wilson here. Come on, big fella. Perfect, perfect shot to deep right field. So long, baseball. That one's not coming back. That is beyond the pool there. I like it. I like it a lot. Another home run for my season total. What is that, number 10 or 11 on the season? 11 on the season. 460 feet on that one. Man, I got all over that baseball. Unfortunately, that's not enough to get the Diamondbacks spurred but to send it to extra innings. So 7-3 to three the final score as Padres win game number one. We'll take a three for a four day at the plate anytime we can get one, but that's not the outcome of the game we wanted to see. Let's move on to game number two, shall we? And you know what that means. This is where I remind everybody, if you haven't done so already or if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. You can also like and comment on this video as all of those things do help me out with the YouTube algorithm. We come in here, bottom of the first, San Diego up one to nothing already. Two outs, nobody on. Matt Waldron on the mound for the Padres in this one. He has a 94 mile an hour four seamer, 90 on his sinker, only 88 on the cutter. First pitch of the at bat from him. What in the heck knuckle curve was that? Holy cow, did you see that wild movement there? That was insane. Oh, and won the count. <laughs> Another knuckle curve. No chance of hitting that one. Oh, and to the count. Holy cow. Got a piece of that knuckle curve on the outside corner. Weak contact and fouled away, so the count stays at 0 oh and 2. Oh my gosh. That is so crazy. Those knuckle curves are insane to see coming at the plate there. Showed me four of them, and I got struck out. Two to three put out, completed that one. So, wow. I might be in trouble against him on the mound. Top of the third when we come back to it. I'm out in the field with Xander Bogarts at the plate. He's one for one on the day with a single and a run scored. One out, nobody on for him here in this at-bat. <clears throat> Zach Gallen on the mound for the Diamondbacks. 2-2 two -two pitch from him. Soft liner to me at third. And that is a painless second out here in the top of the third. We come back, bottom of the fourth. I'm at the plate for the second time today. 0 for 1 with that strikeout earlier. Runner on first and one away. Matt Waldron still on the mound for the Padres. We got a good rip on that knuckle curve at 62 miles an hour. Sent out to deep right field. It's got a chance. Not enough. Just short of the wall there. Right by the right field foul pole. It was literally about three feet away from being a home run. It's a shame. Just a long second out. We come back, bottom of the six. It's a 5-3 ball game. Padres in the lead. Two outs, nobody on. Matt Waldron still on the mound for the Padres. And the first pitch from him. Gosh, those knuckle curves are insane, dude. Swing and a miss at one right off the outside corner. And it's an 0-1 oh count. Another knuckle curve at 61 miles an hour. Are you kidding me? 0-2 oh the count as I managed to foul that one off. What the hell? That movement is insane. What is this, wiffle ball? Oh, swing and a miss makes for another strikeout for me. And uh, that's all she wrote for the sixth inning. We're moving on to the seventh, trailing the Padres by a score of 5-3. to three. Bottom of the eighth, we come back to it. Tie ball game now, five runs apiece. Drew Carlton is now on the mound for the Padres, so hopefully no more knuckle curves. He's got himself a sinker that hits 93. Four-seamer at 94, but that's all he's got that's quick. First pitch from him. Oh, I was looking for that knuckle curve that he doesn't have. Swing and a miss at one above the zone on the inside corner. And that's an 0-1 count. No chance of catching up to that baseball. The 0-1 pitch from Carlton is outside and low with the sinker. One and won the count. All right, runners on second and third, one out. Ground ball into the outfield. Should score two, but a sinker low and inside. Not going to get the call. Two and one the count. We could really use the go-ahead RBIs here. Next pitch is a sinker just off the outside corner. Three and one the count now. Ooh, baby. We might just take all the way here, see if we get the walk to load the bases. 
Oh, four-seamer just off the inside corner. That would have gotten me on first, but no, I swing on it. Foul it away, and we have a full count. Payoff pitch from Drew Carlton. There's a swing and a miss on a circle change below the knees. Not a single pitch in that at-bat was in the zone, and I managed to strike out. That is a bummer. I don't need to see the replay of that. It's now a 6-5 to five ball game, bottom of the 10th, runner on second, nobody out. I'm standing in 0 for 4 on the day, but my batting average is at 303, so that's a perk. We get a dynamic challenge because of that runner standing on second. And um, we're going to go for that double or better. Let's see what I can do against uh, Eniel De Los Santos. He hits 98 with his four seamer, 90 on the circle change, only 88 on his slider. First pitch below the knees on the inside corner. That's a 1-0 count to start things here. Second pitch of the at-bat now from De Los Santos. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer on the inside corner, and that is a 1-1 one and one count. Looking to pitch number three here of the at-bat. Come on, big guy. Swing and a miss at a four-seamer off the inside corner. Should have let that one go, but instead I have a 1-2 and two count after not making contact with that swing. Fourth pitch of the at-bat. Come on, big shoots. Little dribbler into right field. Are they going to send him around third? No, they're going to hold him up. We have runners on the corners now with nobody out in the bottom of the 10th. And me being the winning run, I am on base. Let's see if we can do it. They replaced me with Jordan Lawler as a pinch runner. All right, I don't blame him for wanting the speed. Game ends, what's the final score? Six to five, as the Padres win it in 10 innings. That is so unfortunate. One for five day at the plate for me, and my one hit was a good one in the 10th inning, but what can you do? Smile and wave. We're moving on to game number three, trying to avoid the sweep before we head on to the postseason, as we do have ourselves a wild card berth for the postseason. All right, we come in bottom of the first. 1-1 one, one ball game runner on first. Nobody out. I'm batting third in the order. 307, the batting average for me. Gyro Iriate is on the mound. He hits 94 with his four-seamer, 92 on the two-seamer. First pitch from him off the outside corner at the knees, and it's a 1-0 and o count. I've hit two home runs in my last three games, so that's kind of cool. The 1-0 pitch now. Oh, hot shot down the right field line, but it goes foul just past the diving first baseman there. One and one the count after not keeping that one fair. And a chopper to third. They're going to go around the horn. Five, four, and three. Double play that empties the bases and puts two outs on the board. That's not the outcome we wanted to have from that at bat. We come back bottom of the third, standing in 0 for 1 on the day, 4 for 10 on the series so far. It's a two to one ball game with the Padres in the lead. Runner on second, one away. First pitch of the at bat. It's a good rip into center field. Probably caught, yep it is caught out there but the runner from second tags and advances to third on the play. So two away and a man on third here in the bottom of the third. We come back top of the fourth, still a two one ball game. Jackson Merrill at the plate for the Padres. He's hitting a lowly 183 on the season. Runner on second, one away, 1-1 one, one pitch on the way from Merrill Kelly. Let's see what we get from it. Little dribbler to me at third. We're going to throw to first. Easy play. Two away now in the top of the fourth. We come back bottom of the fifth. It's a 2-2 ball game. Runner on second, or runner on first, sorry. One away. I'm standing in 0 for 2 on the day. Let's see what I can do in this at-bat against Jairo Iriati. First pitch of the at-bat. Good shot into right field, but it's caught by the right fielder. Just a little bit too much on that one. As that one hung up just enough for the right fielder to get to it and make the catch at his knees. Two away now in the bottom of the fifth with that runner still standing on first. Bottom of the seventh, we come back 2-2 ball game. Runners on first and second, two away, and I'm standing in 0 for 3 on the day. Randy Vasquez is now on the mound for the Padres out of the bullpen. He hits 97 with the four-seamer, 93 on his two-seamer, nothing else quick. First pitch from him. Chopper to second. That's not going to get the RBI. Yep, 4-3 put out, and that's all she wrote for the seventh inning. We're moving on to the eighth. Still tied at two runs apiece. 
Home crowds cheering. Do we take the win? We do. 4-2 to two, the final score here. We avoid the sweep in the final game of the series. So, that's going to be all she wrote. 0 for 4 day at the plate for me in the last game of the season. But, uh, yeah, we're heading to the postseason here for tomorrow's episode. Because this one's now over as the series is over. So, for those of you that have made it this far, thanks for hanging out with me. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and do all the fun social media things. And we will see you in the next one.